Hi, this is Professor POTUS. Welcome to POTUS ABC Kids. Today, 10 things every kid should know about U.S. presidents. Welcome to POTUS ABC Kids, hosted by my dad, Professor POTUS. POTUS ABC Kids is a fun place to learn and play. And now, here's your host, Professor POTUS. Okay, let's get started. Number one, George Washington. Kids, did you know that George Washington only had one real tooth? A premolar. Back in the 18th century, colonial Americans had poor dental care. A toothless smile would not be good for a U.S. president, so George Washington wore dentures, fake teeth, not made of wood, but made of ivory from elephants, hippopotamuses, and walruses. Lesson learned, kids. Always brush your teeth at least twice a day. Number two, Thomas Jefferson. Did you know that Thomas Jefferson introduced ice cream to America? Jefferson first discovered ice cream when he was living in Paris, serving as minister to France. He had a French butler at his home in Virginia who created a special recipe. President Jefferson made ice cream a popular dessert by serving it at the White House. Lesson learned, kids. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. <laughs> Number three, James Madison. James Madison was our shortest president. He only stood about five foot four, weighed 100 pounds. The only problem with that is when he entered a room as president, nobody would notice him. That did not please First Lady Dolly Madison, so she made certain that any time the president entered the room, henceforth, the Marine Band would play the song, Hail to the Chief. Lesson learned, don't feel bad if you're short. Someday you may be president of the United States. Number four, John Quincy Adams, 1825. President John Q. Adams had a tradition of taking a swim every morning in the Potomac River. However, he did not wear a swimsuit. That's right, the President of the United States went swimming naked. <coughs> Female journalist Anne Royal, who could never get an interview with the President, found Adams one morning while taking his swim. She took his clothes and threatened only to give him back if he granted her an interview. She got the interview, kids. <laughs> Lesson learned, creativity with a little persistence can go a long way in life. Number five, William Henry Harrison. President William H. Harrison was only president for 31 days. The reason? Harrison gave the longest inaugural address in presidential history, an hour of 45 minutes. Not to mention the speech was outside on the Capitol steps in the cold and rain. President Harrison did not wear a coat, top hat, or gloves. He caught pneumonia and died 31 days later. Lesson learned, kids, don't give long speeches and always dress appropriate for the winter. Remember, it was Shakespeare who said, brevity is the soul of wit. Number six, John Tyler of Virginia. Did you know that John Tyler had 15 kids? That's right, 15. Tyler had eight children with his first wife, Letitia, when she died of a stroke at the White House, President Tyler remarried and had seven more kids. Lesson learned, coming from a large family makes you have to learn to share. Number seven, Abraham Lincoln. President Lincoln grew his famous beard because a little girl named Grace wrote him a letter telling him he would look more handsome if he had a beard. Lesson learned, kids, when it comes to fashion, listen to the ladies. Number eight, Ulysses S. Grant. Do you know President Grant was actually arrested for speeding and his horse and carriage? The 18th president pleaded guilty, was escorted to the police station, and received a $5 speeding ticket. Lesson learned, kids. Even the president of the United States is not above the law. <laughs> Number nine, George W. Bush. Did you know that George Bush was the first president to acquire an Apple iPod? Lesson learned, kids, don't spend too much time on your portable electronic devices. If you spend an hour on your iPhone, spend an hour in the library reading a good book. And finally, number 10, Barack Obama. Barack Obama made history by becoming the nation's first African-American president. Born in Hawaii, Barack Obama was homeschooled briefly by his mother. His childhood nickname was Barry. Barack Obama is left-handed and collects Spider-Man comic books. 
lesson learned, kids, even if you grow up poor and your parents are divorced, with hard work, education, and vision, you can be President of the United States. So now you know 10 things every kid should know about U.S. presidents. This is Professor POTUS. We'll see you next time on POTUS ABC Kids. Thank you for listening to POTUS ABC Kids with my dad, Professor POTUS. Please visit our really neat Facebook and Instagram page at POTUS ABC Kids. Until next time, listen to your teacher, be kind to your classmates, and God bless America.